I'm gonna react to comedian Matteo Lane. It's -a me, Mario. Oh, look at the guns, bro. Oh yeah. Guys, welcome back to Reaction Video. I'm in New York right now, doing some stand-up shows, and today I want to talk about Matteo Lane. This guy here, he is a comedian as well. Let me start the video here by Googling him, okay? Okay, first of all, he does the same bicep pose that I just did. That's maybe why I relate to him. You know, we both have like fire biceps. Bice? What's the plural of bicep? Bicep plural. Bicepses. <laughs> we both have very strong bicepses, yeah? We are the Axis powers. He's Italian, I'm German, so we have bicepses that are hard wie Kruppstahl. His mustache though, he legit looks like Super Mario. I mean, he is, he's Italian for real. You know, he's a little, you know, he's a little, you know, a little fruity. Not that you can tell if somebody's gay just by looking at them, but like, you know, there's, there's a vibe. Matteo Lane, age podcast, gay. Lane, who is gay, has an older brother who is also gay. Okay, so his whole family is gay. Let me go straight to his Instagram. I think that's always the best. Okay, we got some reels here. He posts a lot of stand-up clips. Gay voice. You know what's right. funny about gay voice is that gay is voice. not just an American phenomenon. If you speak another language, you can still still hear the gay voice. Oh, oh in God. Italian? Allora, oggi che sono andato a comprare qualcosa in negozio. <laughs> Spanish, That's German, funny. even click tribes are like, girl. Like, it is. <laughs> However, in German, any German sounds super gay in American movies. Any movie that's ever been made, every German's always gonna be like, Hello, my name is Hans, yeah? It's so funny, like, even gay Germans don't sound like that. Have you heard a gay German? Like, I, I have a friend who, like, has a lot of gay friends, and gay clubs are more fun, you know? They're just gonna look at you and be like, <laughs> You want to fuck now or what? <laughs> 13 million views. The thing about Italians though, like if you go to Italy and you don't speak Italian, like you can just say ciao, they're very impressed. Yes. They're like, oh wow, lui parla bene, dai. <laughs> France, I was in this pastry, like this patisserie, and I was like, bonjour madame. Alors je voudrais manger un pain au chocolat avec un café, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> and she goes, well that'll be 4.95. <laughs> It's so true. I, like, I don't want to offend any French people, but fuck French people. You know what they call cheese in Paris? Le fromage. Le fromage, man. It's like those French guys have a whole other language. And I feel the same way as Matteo, though, when I go to a pastry shop in America and I order a croissant because I grew up speaking French and it sounds so douchey, people don't like French people. And I say things in the incorrect American moron weasel loser pronunciation just to fit in with you guys. Yeah, howdy y'all. Could I please get one of them? How do y'all say it? Uh, croissant? But I want my croissant to taste like freedom. Yeah. It's how I order a croissant. It's fucking nuts. It's so funny. Like, Matteo Lane's Instagram is all stand up clips, stand up clips, very Disney Channel vibes. And then all of a sudden, I think he got a boyfriend or something. This dude. This dude is just straight up like a model. Holy shit. Okay, they look great. They both have the mustache. He was a good influence on him because once he met that guy, he started going into like a full-on thirst trap phase on Instagram. Boom, first photo in a Speedo. And you know what? I fucking love that shit because I, I always say this, like I always feel weird about wearing a Speedo in America because people automatically associate wearing a Speedo with a sexuality, but it just looks better. Like this looks 10 times better than one of these like American board shorts, you know what I mean? I come from the modeling douchebag world, but I also do comedy. So I'm trying to combine the two right now by reacting to the douchiest, best looking model-like comedians to bridge the gap. Like that is my goal. I wanna be able to post stand-up clips and for them to get love, but then also being able to be an absolute hoe online. And Matteo is my idol because he's combined the hoeness with the broness. He also makes pasta. I think he said once that if he did an OnlyFans, which he clearly could, he said he would just uh, cook pasta naked. I also read some comments that there are some photos of Matteo out there that are like, you know, kind of kind of edgy. I'm so sorry I'm doing this, but you know, Matteo Lane nude. Listen, listen, uh, the people commented this, all right? So I'm just a vessel of democracy to fulfill the needs of the public, which is the carrot kingdom. So make sure to subscribe and always comment because I, I read every comment, I love you. Oh my God, he's got an account on LPSG. That's not a good sign. He's pretty teasy on IG, but does anybody have nudes? This is hilarious. Even comedians, you know what I mean? I thought it was just me as a thirst trap whore, but it's everybody. All right, let me see. All right, there we go. Safe search is off. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, this is what is happening. All right, <laughs> wow. So this is Stavros, he's also a comedian. He's a Greek comedian, very funny. I think this was for a calendar that Stavros was doing. Oh my God. Yeah, no, Stavros here, he's like, he's, he's got the pool boy look. <laughs> Jizun. Yo, his calendar is crazy. This is it, a calendar for a sexy year. That is so funny. 
100% fully uncensored for the first time ever. It's a calendar of his schlong. That's fucking genius. I should do that. Guys, check out my OF link below. I'm so sorry. Okay, get back to Matteo Lane. Okay, so so he did a calendar with Stavros, which I think is beautiful. I have the bromance calendar. I, I, I want to celebrate, you know, love between, between men that is not even necessarily sexual. Oh my god. So here Matteo is the... How do you call it? C cute Cupid? Cutipie. Pewdiepie. Fuck, verdammte Scheiße, man! Hey! It's me! Pewdiepie! Cupid, right? Cupid, the, the one with the, with the... What the fuck? And even, even Andrew Schultz got naked with Matteo Lane? Matteo Lane is just the smartest guy ever. He goes on everybody's podcast and all these straight comedians, he makes them do sexual things with them. This is the smartest guy ever. Alright, I have a new life goal. Now, I want to get Joe Rogan to take a nude photo with me for the bromance calendar. Fucking life goals. Manifest that shit. You know, every morning I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up, look in the mirror, be like Joe Rogan nude. You guys, I remember I found Matteo Lane on a podcast with Andrew Schultz on Flagrant. But I remember I was on a bird scooter in Los Angeles and I listened to this and it actually made me cry. I stopped and it made me very emotional and I parked the bird scooter and I walked to the rest of my destination just contemplating what he said. I always get emotional telling this story, but I was doing shows at this gay bar once in Chicago and my whole family would come to my shows, all 40 of them. And I remember after the show, this older gay guy came up to me and shook my hand and goes, um, I just want to say you're very lucky that you, you know, you had your family here. And I said, oh, they're so crazy. And he like squeezed my hand and looked at me and he goes, I just want to tell you that you're very lucky that you have your family here. Because mm. mm. he really would have loved that. And he yeah. felt so alone. Yeah, I can't imagine that feeling completely isolated from the people that you feel most close to and having to choose between who Being you are yourself? as an actual person yeah. Yeah. and the people you love most. And you either lie to yourself about who you are so you could be around the people you love most or you lie to them. Isn't that so great? Like honestly, I got teary eyed just now because that's so powerful. That's such a real fucking moment. I feel like that's an important thing for us men. Whether you're gay or straight, have those moments and, and share them, you know, because I feel that doesn't happen a lot. And that's really one of my biggest passions is on this channel and in general, as a European, bring a little bit of that openness to America. That's how I fucking got introduced to Matteo Lane. I came <laughs> for the emotional depth <laughs> and the vulnerable moments and I stayed for the speedo. Wait, is that him? That is him? Oh my god, that doesn't even look like him at 16 years old. He looks like an Italian exchange student there. And now he looks like an absolute banger. Damn, bro. You know what? I, I was like doing this. I, I scroll all the way down. I just, all the way, all the, all the way. I wanna go, I wanna go all the way down. I wanna go all the way down. Why does it sound so sexual? I'm just like, you know. All the, oh, look here, there's another photo. Today's the, the day Nicole Byer, okay, with Nicole Byer. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, so he took us. Oh my God, a booty photo. He just that's the that's the sweetest thing ever. He uses his sex appeal in his booty photos to promote his friend Nicole Byers' Netflix special. That's love right there. That's beautiful. Reno Gold commented. Reno Gold tried to connect us because I feel like gay people just know each other, especially once they're hot and gay. There's like a circle of hot gays that just all know each other. I don't know how, but they just get connected through. I think the gay mafia or something. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Where, where are we right now? 2012. Oh my God, we're 2012. We made it to the bottom. So Matteo Lane's first ever Instagram post is this gambit drawing based of Jim Lee. He was an absolute comic nerd. He's such an artist. What is my first ever Instagram post? Maybe I should do a video one time called Mario Adrian is out of control. It will be the most narcissistic video I'll ever make, but you know, that's kind of like where we're going right now, so. Yo, I was ripped too when I was younger. Holy fuck. But so were these other models. See, that's the fucking thing I'm talking about. Like, I felt like, look at me. I feel like, oh nice, I've got a couple abs. Then this dude standing next to me with like veins on his abs. <laughs> and this guy with like 40, like these are like too many abs. There's abs on the side too. Like what the fuck is even happening? First photo, a wholesome photo when I went to New Zealand and went backpacking with all these girls. How wholesome. Isn't this beautiful? 2013, exactly 10 years ago. I'm gonna finish this video with two more stand-up clips from Matteo Lane because I've been I've been objectifying him way too much, alright? The advice special. Reverse, top, bottom. Very reverse. Very <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody not a bottom? Guy, he's in your building, you've been having sex for three months, he speaks no English, you speak no Spanish. What's the question? So he said that he wants to become closer with his wife, so he needs Stop. To <laughs> <laughs> your response is, ha, uh, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> bueno, comma, hasta mañana. <laughs> 
I love his stuff. I think he's so talented. I'm in New York right now. I think I'm also gonna move to New York. Comedy's way better here. I might get to place in LA and in New York. It's gonna be rough financially, but you know, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so I can afford this shit. Mateo Lane, if you wanna come on the podcast, I'd love you to have you on one day. I'm a fan. Uh, he's funny, his, his act outs are amazing, and he just seems like a great guy, and also, he's a comedian, and also a hoe online, and I fucking love that. I respect that. More reaction videos coming. Stay crunchy. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.